we created an interface yesterday and uh, we have declared constraints abstract methods default methods and static methods okay so these are the three things we know did in the interface so we need to now uh, implement them right we need to implement them so all this how can we implement this only implementation these abstract methods only need to do it other things are implemented already this is the body is there means it is implemented already so you don't need to do it again okay so what are the different shapes we have a circle so let's circle is one of the shape right so create a class circle so i don't want main method i just want to implement my in, my interface so let's implement the interface so implements what is the interface name shape shape yeah so now see when you mouse over here on the third line it is throwing a compile time error so when you mouse over here it will show you add unimplemented methods saying the type circle must implement the inherited abstract method shape get area get perimeter draw all the methods you have to implement here yeah, this very clearly meaningful message it is showing read that so then add unimplemented methods automatically you are getting the methods with override you are overriding and also you are implementing the interface So this is the question. method overriding and implementing that. Okay. Sorry, Ramesh. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Um, we have this shape class that can be implemented into multiple classes, right? Shape so, is an interface. Interface. Yeah. Can it be implemented to multiple classes? Yes. Yes. That's what. So you, do we have to we have to write these override override programs in only one class, or we can distribute them among us? No, well, multiple classes. So each class logic is different for this. Oh, methods. different. Okay. Each class, the logic is different. You can see now. Okay. Okay. Got it. The area is not same for the circle, for the triangle, for the rectangle, right? Yeah, I get is it. Is it same? Yeah. No. No, right? That's why you have to write that logic. Which logic you want? You create object for that that class. Get it? Yep, I got it. This is the main uh, idea. Yep. So. you want to implement one method in different ways you declared one one place and implement wherever you want got it so so that's what we are going to show now see i want uh, radius right i'll just declare private so double radius okay But how can i give this radius value maybe i can use parameterized constructor right i can use parameterized constructor so public circle so double radius so this dot radius equal to radius that's it so when you create object for circle class you give your value different value you can give, you can pass it that's a parameterized constructor so now i'll write a logic for all these classes started circle class from method Brother, start the shape. So started circle class at area method.
thing. What is the area? Area of the circle. What is the area of the circle? Is it pi r square? I'm not sure. <laughs> pi r square, right? Yeah, why are you struggling for that? So math dot, how can you get pi value? Math dot pi multiply by so radius multiply by radius. That's it. See how easy we have written this simple mathematics. That's it. So we're not making any complex also here. Very simple logics. And then so I'll just save the time. Get perimeter. So what is perimeter value? Two pi r. Two pi r. Two multiply by math class dot pi multiply by radius that's it okay so this is the implementation done implementation is done now circle class implementation is done I'll go to next class. I'll create a square class. So, with, so class and interface in between, what is the keyword? Implements. Implements. Implements shape. So, Mouse over, add and implemented methods. All the methods will be added. So you can add private. Or whatever you want, double side. So I'll create a constructor, parameterized constructor. To supply the side well, okay? So that's easy, right? Uh, public square. So double side. So this dot side equal to side. So this dot side will represent the instance variable. Mm -hmm. And right side one will represent the left. So Rather, so started square class get area method. Okay, so what is the area of the square? Yes. Right? Same that perimeter. So what is the perimeter value? Yes. Four multiplied by side. So one more, if you want, two, just develop how many you want, okay? How many classes you want? So 
so rectangle let's take all the different classes see i'll just stop here okay multiple enough so you just got some idea same replica or web driver okay the shape is the interface there web driver is an interface in selenium exact replica i'm showing exactly how they implemented each browser one browser class will be there so that web driver is implemented in the browser classes methods should be same right methods cannot be different for the browser to browser in any browser the action will be same that's why you, we mentioned all the methods there okay add an implemented methods what are all you need private so double breadth and width or whatever it is so length and breadth whatever it is you take that's fine so public rectangle so double that cover double width this dot vr equal to vr this dot wd equal to w so this is the how you can give two values for the rectangle constructor so implement started rectangle class draw method draw the rectangle shape so this one Started rectangle class at area method. So, what is the area? Length into so breadth into width, right? That's it. Same you do for the so perimeter also get perimeter value. So I'll return type methods, right? So I'm just implementing the return type methods also same way. So what is this? So, just having to get plus yes. width. Yes. So right plus width, right? Is this the same? Or is no? Don't worry. We just need some logic. That's enough. Okay. So these are all the implementations are done. Now, so let's go and call them. Okay. Implementation is done. We created the interface. We implemented in different classes, same interface methods. Now, what is the, what left now? Yesterday on three points, I told you how you can call them interface of interface members how you can call so let's call in the same package in another package also i'll show you another package this is a very important one because call interface call interface demo or interface demo i'll show you calling members calling Interface members demo. See, D should be capital. Take the main method, we can finish. See this. This should be 
Notice. How can you change here? So mouse over. Rename <coughs> color. So here also it will change. Okay. Now first step I told you, you have to take first interface name on the left side, preference of object, uh, then new implementing class. This class implemented, that class you create object. What is the interface? Shape. Shape. Yes. OBJ equal to new circuit. That's it. See, now I am calling the void methods. What is the formula I have given? See our no blog very clearly mentioned. <coughs> what is the blog object <laughs> reference dot method name? This is the one I am. What is the object reference? SOBJ dot draw method. How to call return type methods? Return type variable equal to object reference dot non -stop. Excellent. Excellent. Now let's see. Keep it up. So just data type, variable name equal to object reference. Start return type method. So that's this is the formula I'm following. Now, what data are they returning? Double data. So double AR val equal to some my own variable name. Meaningful readable variable names you can give. So AR val, so val v capital AR val equal to so new. Sorry. Yes, OBZ dot get area method. That's it. Area of the shape is yeah, well. See, you got the area value and draw method is executed. Now, you can call directly in the print statement also, right? So, perimeter of the shape is. So, SOBZ dot get perimeter. See, so I'm saying all of them. Again, methods concept. Repeating the methods concept again one more time. In another class, how to call, I'm showing here. So now, very important now, how to call all the methods are implemented methods we called already. How to call default methods? Interface. So default methods. How to call interface default methods? Object reference dot default methods. That's the one I'm following. Object reference is OBJ dot. What is the default method? Do greeting. So that's it. This is a non static method, right? Default methods are non static methods. Greetings are good evening. So next, how to call static methods of interface? So what is the answer? Interface name dot static method. Okay. Interface name dot static method. So I'll print that output is a return type method, right? Then in return type method means you can put, if it is a void and you can call directly like this. If it is a return type means you have to return that. So I'll just put six cube value. Let's call interface 
shape dot three z cube six. So this is the parameterized return type method we are calling. So how much is the six cube? Two one six. So how to call constants? We all I'm covering. So this point is you're going to use this point, or whatever the point I'm telling now. If the interface has a constants, how you can call that constants of interface? How can you call interface constants? How can you call constants? Can you tell me? So interface Stop. name dot constant. <laughs> That's it. So shape interface constant value is what is the interface name shape dot max watch so this is all static you can call with that class or interface so this is the one very important concept so you are getting all you are getting a default methods right you are getting a default methods so you're getting the static method, you're getting the value of that. And also all the circle class, but I want a different class. Suppose I want a uh, square class related. See, you don't need to change any code. You just need to change object, that's it. Just object you change. Square. So if you want, change the values also if you want. No problem. So parameterized constructor, right? You can pass anything. See, see all square related methods are calling. The square related methods are calling. Okay. So this is the how you can call any class. You can create object. That class logic you will get. Suppose I want rectangle class logic. So I will create object for rectangle class. Let's create object for rectangle class. Okay. See, everything rectangle logic you're getting. This is the beauty of this. Which class object you create, that class logic will be called by these methods. Did we change these methods? No. One time we written and just changing the object. Which object logic you want, which class logic you want, for that class you create object. Same you are going to do in the Selenium also. Which browser you want to run your test case, for that browser, you will create object for that class. Every browser has one browser class, one browser driver class. Browser plus a driver keyword will add for the browser name. Chrome driver is the class name. Firefox driver is the class name. Safari driver is the class name. Edge driver is the class name. Internet Explorer driver is the class name. So for these classes, you're going to create objects. You want to run on those classes. So left side, you will write the web driver interface. Okay? Yeah. That's it. And another package, let's see another package, how to call this. So let's go and uh, know this package I'll call. This is very important. This is the one you're going to do mostly in the Selenium. The Selenium packages are different. And you're going to call them in your package. How to call them? Call, calling interface members in another package. So what is the extra step you will get here is you have to import. What is the extra step you will do? Import. 
So what you will do extra, you will import both the interface and class you need to import. See, destroying error, import. See, which package you have to choose the right package. There are many packages also, but you have to choose your own package. Which package that exactly you need to get it. Import. When you pass a package, how can you access one package, classes, interfaces in another package? First, you have to do import. Then you can access so, SOB is a one dot draw method. So I'll put double parameter value equal to SOBJ1 dot parameter. Any method you can call this time showing different methods in the print statement. Shape parameter value is plus PR value. Okay, so next. Call shape area values. So SOB is a one dot get area. So next uh, default method, right? Call default methods. How can you call default methods? Yes, will be the one dot do greetings. Hello. Can write any so calling static methods of interface. Then once you import, it's enough. One time is enough import. So if you values. Shape card get cube. I keep. So shape interface constant. How can you call constants? She interface name dot. Constant. So this please remember all this programmatically, whatever I'm showing, that's a very, very crucial. If I create an object for another class, you will get now you will get a share circle related logic. But if I create an object for a different so I'll get a logic for those things. For example, if I create object for square, so I'll get a square logic. See, you have to create object. So first this comment out and square import, import the square. Now you will get a square. So this is the things you are going to do in the real time. Mainly these are the things you will use. One pack is classes, you are using another package. What is the, what is the first step you have to do? Import. Mm -hmm. Then you can, uh, one creating object itself, it will ask you. So please import. Then you can call all them with object reference. Yeah. So this is all about uh, Interface and OOPS concepts are done. Any questions till now?